got Keith Lee on the pull up. I'm going to keep it real with you. I want you to keep it real with me. I listened to y'all. I went to Cuts and Slices. The owner was super dope. He recognized who I was after me standing in line for like 30 minutes. My whole trip to New York, I was working with somebody and I had to get this video approved to them before I can post it. That's why it took so long. So this video is like four days old, but I'm happy I can finally post it. God bless you. And somebody was like, hey, can we take a picture? I spent $105, but I tipped $50. So it's probably like $55 before. But again, I tipped because his customer service was fire and the line was out the door. So for you to be nice like that to everybody in front of me and behind me, including me, I have no idea what any of this is. Uh, I just told him to grab me a bunch of stuff, but he didn't put no labels on it. So I'm assuming this is oxtail. This is, I have no idea, like a cheeseburger. That, look, that looks like ketchup. Uh, more oxtail, I think that's the teriyaki oxtail. Um, bacon and ranch chicken pizza, I'm assuming. I have no idea what that is. That looks like a red onion barbecue oxtail, maybe. I literally just told him to grab whatever is good. Oxtail. Oxtail pizza is crazy. For full transparency, he gave me a slice to eat while I was there. That's like a 9.7. Oh my gosh. I swear to God. And it was delicious. That, delicious. The owner of Custom Slices has been updating me almost every day since he posted that video. Y'all been wildin'. All day long, cause double park. He said yesterday alone, 73 families or people showed up because of me. <laughs> God bless you guys. That's nuts. That be blowing my mind. The meat is tender, it's juicy, it's flavorful. That's like a 9 out of 10. Yeah, I don't know which one this is. It's, again, I think it's like hamburger or something. Mm. Granted, all of these would be a lot better if they were warmed up, but I'm literally in a car headed to the airport because I'm about to leave New York. But as is, that's okay. That's like a five and a half out of 10. I'm not really sure what flavor it is even after trying it. It's the teriyaki oxtail. I see why he had a lime. I absolutely see why he had a lime. Even like that, that's delicious. But that fresh, I can imagine being crazy. That'd probably be like a 9.5. I have no idea what this is. Is that a donut pizza? Oh, this chicken and waffles. It works. I don't know how it works, but it works. It's like a eight and a half out of 10. A chicken and waffle pizza is good. That's nuts. Again, no idea. I'm not a huge fan of that one. It's like real sweet and spicy at the same time. It's like a five out of 10. That's my least favorite. He gave me three Jamaican patties and cheese slice. I really wish they would have labeled these because it would have made it a lot easier, but I'm just guessing. I don't know what flavor that is, but it's good. I think this might be oxtail. They know how to do some oxtail. That's like a nine out of 10. Another one. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is, but it's good. That one's spicy. Actually a little too spicy now that I'm chewing it. Oh yeah, yeah, very spicy. That's like a seven out of 10. I think it all might be the same meat. They just got different seasonings on them or different sauces. That one definitely had the least flavor out of all of them. But again, it's not terrible. Six and a half out of 10. I will not be trying to cheese slice because I'm stuffed and I still got to go to the airport. He threw in a bunch of desserts too. But again, we will not be trying those. I'll show you what they look like though. These look way too sweet for me anyway. I don't even know what this is. I really wish he labeled things. It's like some kind of brownie, like Oreo brownie maybe. And then a bunch of cookies. Again, his customer service was through the roof. And the food, I see why there's a line out the door. God bless you guys. You have an amazing